This lecture will take a look at maths in SAS, such as addition, division, multiplication, and so on and so forth, and also take a look at the SAS script functions to do with mathematical operations. To begin, let's look at the sample file. Firstly, you'll notice variables A, B, and C have numbers stored in them. Also, we have a little CSS to get us going. Let's start with a simple addition equation of adding 5 to 10. We can also use variables in our equations, so let's add variable A onto there. It's important to note that the measurements are not included in the variable values or in the equation. SAS does, however, allow us to use CSS measurements in mathematical equations. So now I'm going to append the PX for the pixel measurement to all the variable values. Also, we have subtraction, multiplication, which does require a number that does not include a CSS measurement. That's very important for multiplication. Otherwise, we'll get an error, as well as division. On top of that, we also have modulo. And also, we can include brackets to prioritize certain pieces of our equation. So if we do 4 minus, and then we put the brackets in, 6 plus 5. So what happens is the computer goes straight to the brackets first because that takes priority. And so it does 6 plus 5, which is 11. So it's 4 take away 11. So 4 take away 11 is minus 7. If I take the brackets out, you'll notice it's 4 take away 6, which is negative 2, plus 5, which equals 3. So again, it all depends upon those brackets. And also, you can include variables in there as well. We can also do equations from within a variable and a variable can include other variables. So let's first take our equation on the line height property and place it within a variable. Then let's call it back and sure enough, the value is right there. Now let's take a look at number functions in SAS. To demonstrate, I'll copy the width CSS property and value. The first function we'll look at is round. This will round floating point numbers to the nearest whole integer. For example, 16.7 is nearest to 17, so it rounds up. Or if it is, let's say, 16.2, it's nearest to 16, so it will round down. So it's really depending upon the number. Next, we have the floor function, which will only round down. This means 16.7, which is nearer to 17, gets rounded down to 16 because we are effectively hitting the floor. The opposite is the seal function, which only rounds up. I'll change the equation to equal 16.37778. So even if we had 16.3, which is nearer to 16, it will only round up to 17. So we hit the ceiling. Next, we have the percentage function that allows conversion of a floating point number or whole integer to a percentage. So if I start with 1, that is 100%. 1 1.1 would be 110% and 0.1 would just be 10%. You may not pass in a value that contains a CSS measurement. If you do, it will cause an error. So for example, I'm calling back variable C and because it's got the PX measurement in there, it's causing that error. So I'll just type in 4.5 with no CSS measurement attached and this will produce 450%. Now let's review the ABS function that returns the absolute number. So if you pass in a positive number, it remains positive. But if you pass in a negative number, it converts it into a positive number. You may also include a CSS measurement also, and you can store the value in a variable and call it back also. Next, we have the min function that will find the smallest number in a list of numbers. We can also include variables in the list of numbers as well. 
But please do note you can't just pass in a whole list of numbers, otherwise it will error. The opposite to the min function is the max function, which looks for the highest possible number within a list of numbers. Finally, we have the random function, which left to its own devices will produce a number between 0 and 1, excluding the value 1. So it could be 0, or it could be 0 0.9999999, but it will never hit 1. Each time I save the file, it will produce a random number. But we can set a whole integer as the limit, and this will produce a random whole integer between 1 and the limit, inclusive of the limit number. So if I set this to 100, it could be 1 all the way up to 100, and it can be 100. Also, we can take a quick look at the SAS syntax, which again is very similar and it has all the same functionality. So there we have it, math operators and functions.